Hey art students, welcome to week five of online learning. This week we're still gonna be looking at photography, except this time we're gonna be creating a narrative using toys. I decided to use my uh, Corgi toy just because it's my favorite. And I also had a little camera that I was able to create a story with. So my Corgi was a photographer going out into nature and taking photos. So you guys get to pick your favorite toy from home so that you can create a story as well. Remember, it's not just setting up a toy and just taking a picture of it, you have to create a narrative. For your reflection this week, you will have to write that narrative up. So you're gonna, it's gonna be through the lens of the toy. So I'll be taking you through um, some samples of toy photography from other toy photographers from around the world. So you guys can get some motivation and some ideas for your narratives. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a list of toys, as you can see here. There are a ton of um, options that you can do. You can use Legos, you can use dolls, you can use really any kind of figure that you have and any like household items that you might use or want to use. I decided to use grass, so I just went outside and started cutting grass with my scissors. That was funny, my neighbors were looking at me. Yes, I have a lawnmower, but <laughs> I was not cutting my grass for that purpose. <laughs> You can really use anything you want to. So you're gonna be a photographer. You have to take two pictures this week. It could be of the same subject, just a different scenario, or you can use a certain set of toys for one photograph and then another set of toys for another photograph. But regardless, you will have to be posting both of these onto Padlet this week. So you're gonna create a story and you have to use um, your imagination. So you have to think through the lens of the toy. Um, also, you have to take into consider consideration the environment that you want to put the toy in. So basically the two environments that I chose this week was out in the wilderness. So I literally just put my corgi um, in the grass and put the camera on his head. And then the other one I made up the environment. So my corgi likes to play out in the snow. So I used flower and some grass from outside to create that environment. Really any situation that you want to put your mind to and remember an environment is kind of like landscape. Another thing that I want you guys to take into consideration and use as a form of reflection is how do the elements of art and principles of design also play into photography? So you have to remember those and I'll be posting them onto Google Classroom uh, so that you guys can have those handy and reflect upon what elements and principles of design that you want to use. Also lighting is really important. If you don't have like any sort of like professional lighting, that's okay. You can always uh, use flash on your phone or you can get your brother or sister to use like their phone flashlight as you take the picture. Really anything that you guys um, want to come up with. But let's say you don't have a toy. What you can do is just find a household object and put an expression on them. You can get a banana or really any fruit or really anything, popsicle sticks, and then just draw like a face onto that object. And then you can situate that object into whatever environment that you guys want to. So yeah, uh, just make sure you guys are posting this on Padlet by Sunday. I'm giving you guys an extra day since I posted this a day late. Please look at your angles. You wanna try to take pictures up close of the object. So instead of like far away, you're gonna wanna get really up close to the object. When you center um, your camera toward the object, it really tells the story of what's going on behind the eyes of whatever object that you guys choose to use for your creative narrative photography assignment. So I hope you guys have fun with this. I will be including these uh, samples all throughout this video so that you guys can get some motivation and kind of uh, figure out what you guys wanna do. So I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Now, like I mentioned, just make sure you, if you don't have a toy, just simply get an object. But yeah, again, just a recap of everything. Two photos this week of two different scenarios. You can use the same toys, you can use different toys to create these scenarios, and then you will be posting that narrative, so like what's going on. So Corgi Ali loves to take photos in the snow, it's his favorite thing in the world. Or you can actually say, hi, my name is Corgi, and I enjoy playing out in the snow, like telling the story through the eyes of the toy. And then just 
relating it to the elements and principles of design and art and then that's about it so i hope you guys have fun with this i look forward to seeing what you guys come up with and i hope you guys have an awesome rest of the week of online learning